In chapter three, we start talking about the derivative. One thing that the derivative does that we've seen from chapter two is that the derivative actually approaches is the definition is it is the slope of the tangent line of a function. So here, the tangent line to this function is positive because the slope is uphill. Up here at its local maximum, the slope of that tangent line is zero. Here it is negative. Here it is zero. And here it is positive. And we're going to use the definition of the function or a derivative to actually calculate the slope of that line. And we've already done that. If you remember that we took the limit as h approached 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And we are able to approximate what this, well, we use tables to approximate what the slope of the line was there. And then we learned how to take limits so we could find out what the actual slope of the tangent line was there. There are some functions that the graph is differentiable at many points, but it's not differentiable at some points. If we follow our definition of the a derivative as basically being the slope of a tangent line. This tangent line is positive, 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 and then right here, the tangent line would be going straight up, and we know that the slope of a vertical line does not exist. So at this x point right here, where it goes through a vertical tangent, we would not be able to differentiate that function. Another function where there's a point that you cannot differentiate would be here, where right now, if I'm coming in from the left, my slope is approaching a positive value. If I'm coming in from the right, it's approaching, approaching horizontal. But notice that my graph here is not continuous. If the graph is not continuous, then I cannot find the derivative at that point. A final type of function that is not differentiable is one that has a sharp corner. The absolute value function has a sharp corner at zero. And we can see that if I'm coming in anywhere along the graph on this side, I have a slope of negative one. If I come in from anywhere on this side, I have a slope of positive one. And because the slope here being negative one and the slope here being positive one, those two slopes being different means that the limit of the slope of the line as I approach zero is two different numbers, therefore that limit does not exist. We're actually going to formalize this and say that the slope of the tangent line is identically equal to this limit. So if this limit does not exist, I cannot have a tangent. The next video we're going to go over calculating the actual <coughs> limit of various functions and then determining what the exact slope of a function is at a particular point, and using those two pieces of information to find the equation of a tangent line.